Mabando Bohos. I Blessed be his holy name. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Put your hands together. Give God the praise one more time. Give him praise in the house of the Lord. Give him praise in this house. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Hallelujah. My Lord. Thank you so much, worshipers. If you worship in this way, we're not going to minister in this place. I think we are going to that place where the glory will be so much that the priest will not be able to minister. We are looking forward for that place. And that's where we are going to. Hallelujah. Let me welcome you, all of you, on this first Sunday of 2019. Blessed be his name. Glory be to God. This is the great year of our Lord. The year of his very best. Oh the very best of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Shekinah glory is the very best best of God. Hallelujah. 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 Now this morning I, I, I'm compelled by the Holy Spirit just to take you through and talk about the man who the glory inspired him. And he was consumed by this glory. And, and he became a type and a shadow of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah to the King of Glory. Now, now go with me then quickly as I welcome you all to the book of Daniel. 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 That's where we'll go quickly. Daniel chapter number 10. I'm going to ask my interpreter to read it for me. We're going to read it extensively. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. From verse number one to four. Daniel chapter number ten. Yes. Verses number one. To four. Yes. To four. That's In right. In the year of Cyrus. King of Persia. Cyrus, king of Persia. A message was revealed to Daniel. Yes. A message was revealed. That was a, a prophetic word, a vision. A, a word from God was revealed to Daniel. Okay. Whose name was called Belteshazzar. Now that was a Babylonian name. And Daniel did not go along with that name. Because the name Daniel was godly. Daniel means judge. E-L at the end means God. So God is judge. That was the meaning of Daniel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But the Babylonian kingdom wanted to change that name. And they named him after their God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But that devil is a liar. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Read it for us quickly then. 
The message was true. Yes. But the appointed time was long. Mm. And he understood the message. Yeah. And he had understanding of the vision. In those days, I, Daniel, mm. was mourning three full weeks. He was in mourning and for three, three full weeks. Yes, verse number three. I ate no pleasant food. That's right. No meat or wine came into my mouth. Yes. Nor did I anoint myself at all. That's right. Till three whole weeks were fulfilled. Till three whole weeks were fulfilled. That's right. Now on the 24th day of the first month, as I was by the side of the great river, that, that is, yes, that is the Trigis. The Trigis, the river Trigis. That is where all these things happened. So there was a prophetic location. Verse number seven. And I, Daniel, alone saw the vision. That's right. For the men who were with me did not see the vision. Yes. But a great terror fell upon a them. A great quaking fell upon them. So that they fled. So that they fled to, to hide, hide themselves. themselves. It, it was something awesome. That happened. That the men that were with Daniel, they fled. That if men are running away, there must be something really terrible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse number 10, please. Suddenly a hand touched me. Yes. Which made me tremble on my knees mm. and on the palms of my hand. Verse 11. Yes. And he said to me, O oh Daniel, mm. man greatly beloved. That's right. Understand the words that I speak to you mm. and stand upright for I have now been sent to you. While he was speaking this way to me, I stood trembling. Mm. Then he said to me, do not fear, Daniel. Yes. For from the first day that you have set your heart to understand and to humble yourself before your God. Two things are important there. From the very first day that you set your heart to understand and to humble yourself before the Lord. In mourning, in fasting, in consecration, in praying. Okay? What happened? Your words were heard. That very first day, your, your words were heard. And I have come because of your ways. I came here because of your words. Because of your prayers. Your prayers were heard. That is why I came. Okay, verse 13. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia yes. withstood me 21 days. That's where we are and, going to. And behold, mm. Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me. For I had been left alone there with the kings of Persia. Now, Gabriel is explaining what happened. Says, this is exactly what took place. As I was coming to deliver the answer to you, the king of Persia, who is a prince, a principality, the ruler, withstood me. For 21 days. Now we are reversing that. We are canceling that. For the next 21 days. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I, Michael, one of the chief princes. The archangel of war. 
The one that is responsible for warfare came to my rescue, said Gabriel. Verse number 14. Now I have come to make you understand what will happen to your people in the latter days. For the vision refers to many days yet to come. Now, now, now here's what Gabriel is saying. I have brought an understanding. I came to make you understand. Now some of the prophetic degrees they are too big. They are complex for us to understand them. When you say to people it's the year of Shekinah glory, they don't understand what you are talking about. They think you are too religious. They, they want you to bring it down to the level of their understanding. But at times it's even difficult to us to understand that because the word Shekinah or Shekinah is too Hebrew to understand. understand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, we need the spirit of understanding so that we can understand the great prophetic degree of this year. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I trust God that in the next 21 days there will be so much of clarity upon our spirits. There will be so much of renewal upon our minds that will understand that which God meant by Shekinah glory being in our midst. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Now my brothers and sisters then I came to church then this morning to say to you that as we release the prophetic degree, there must be men and women that will engage in warfare, that will engage in conflict against the devil and his cohorts. Hallelujah. Because the world out there, the other world, apart from the one that we see now, it is too real, more than even our world. Hallelujah. Therefore, we need to understand a spiritual beings, a children of the Lord, that although we are in this world, we are not of this world. We belong to the other world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is why Jesus said, uh, We are seated together we with Him in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Are uh, uh, there saints in the house that are seated together with the Lord? Uh, hallelujah. That is why Paul said, uh, uh, Our warfare then uh, is not. We are not fighting flesh and blood. Oh God Almighty. Our warfare is not fleshly. But we, we are fighting principalities. We, we are fighting rulers. We are fighting authorities. We, we are fighting powers. We are fighting spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. Hallelujah. Therefore we need to engage in warfare. Help me tell your neighbor, engage. Engage. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With a prophetic word. Uh, you will understand as we go along uh, that the Shekinah glory it, it is the fire and it is the cloud 
of God Almighty. Now the children of Israel were led by this cloud and this fire for 40 years. Hallelujah. Therefore, as the children of God, the spiritual Israel, we are led by the Shekinah glory of God. And, and in this year, the Shekinah glory of God Almighty will abide with us. It will manifest in the midst of us. Hallelujah. But somebody need to know. Somebody need to understand the manifestation of the Shekinah glory. So Solomon says, in all your getting, get understanding. So we need to come to a place of understanding. And we are learning now, Daniel, that the place of understanding, you can bring it to pass in your life by 21 days of fasting and praying or consecration. Now therefore, as we engage in this 21 days of fasting and praying, we are saying to the Lord, Father, hallelujah, there is a spiritual burden in our hearts to understand the prophetic declaration of this great year. We are saying to the Lord, number two, there is a spiritual brokenness in us so that we can come to a place of understanding. There is a place where we want to go to. It's a place of understanding that will understand the word that we have released so that we are not going to miss you as you step together with us. Somebody shout hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. My, my dear brothers and sisters, when Daniel embarked on this fasting, it was because he was grieved in his spirit because of the condition of the Jews that were in Babylon. I'm already preaching now. He was grieved and he was saying to himself that according to the prophecy of Jeremiah chapter number 24, 25 rather, verse number 11 and Jeremiah 29 if you are writing from verse number 4 to 10 the Bible says when the 70 years has come to pass you will be emancipated from Babylon you will leave the place of exile you will leave the place of bondage you will go back to Jerusalem to worship your Lord in the land of promise in Canaan land you'll go back to the land of your forefathers now Daniel he understood by the book he understood by reading the scriptures of Jeremiah that the time of emancipation has come upon them they need to leave Babylon but the Jewish people they were relaxed they were not concerned they were marrying and giving in marriage they were building houses they were building vineyards in Babylon 
Uh, and Daniel was worried. There was a grieving in his heart. He was grieving. And he was saying, Oh Lord, you, you have shown me a vision. You, you have spoken to me. You gave me a word. And I understood this word by the book. I understood this word by your prophetic calendar that this is the time for us to leave a place of slavery. I came to declare to you that when God gives a word, it's a marching order. God is giving us a marching order. But in 2019, we will experience his very best. Oh my Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have I got believers in this house? The, the 